Hi everyone, this is Caroline. Welcome back to my channel. In a previous video, I took a Raspberry Pi Zero W, W is for wireless, and created a cron job that took pictures using a standard webcam every four minutes and upload it to Dropbox every 15 minutes. And this is a continuation. This is a part two of that video. So if you haven't done everything from that video, this is none of this stuff is going to work and none of it's going to make sense. All right. Just letting you know right now. So in this video, what I'm going to do is number one, I'm going to give out a shout out to somebody on my channel who commented and said, Hey, here's the code so that it automatically deletes your pictures off of your Raspberry Pi every night at midnight. So thank you. I will go over that in this video. Number two, I'm going to show you how to do a time lapse with the setup that we created last time. And I will show you how to view the time lapse as well. So let's get started. I'd like to start this tutorial by giving a shout out to Bogdan K. Can't pronounce your last name, so I'm just going to call you Bogdan K for adding this comment onto my last video which is what do you think about adding this cron at midnight every day it will delete any files that are older than 12 hours on the webcam directory and i tried it and it works fabulously so thank you bogdan for sending this over to me and i'm going to do i'm going to add on and i'm going to show everybody how to add it to their cron tab in case they don't know first i'm going to ssh into my pi type in my password and I'm going to go to cron tab dash E, which we did in the last tutorial. And I'm just going to copy and paste your command right there. This 720 right here is 720 minutes. Any file older than 720 minutes, which equals 12 hours. Or you could change this to really whatever your preference is. If you just want pictures from the last hour to remain and delete off everything else, that works great as well. I'm going to take your code as you gave it to me and control X to exit. Yes, I want to save. Yes, right to the file. And now it will delete any files in the webcam directory older than 12 hours at midnight every night. So, hey, shout out. Thank you so much for sharing this with the class. And now let's move on to the rest of the tutorial. And now we're going to CD into webcam. That's where we're saving all our pictures. And wow, we have a lot of pictures in here. Okay, so which pictures are we use for this time lapse? We can use them all. We can use a few of them, some of them. Uh, we had a little snow flurries last night, so I want to make a time lapse of the snow that fell overnight. I have everything saved in my Dropbox folder. And we can look at those pictures here. Now you can see a few snow pictures here and there. And uh, they're all uploading every 15 minutes as we set up in the previous video. So I'm going to look. I think the snow started around midnight. And I, that kind of gives us a good stopping point in terms of when we want to start this time lapse video. So I'm going to just start at midnight and make a time lapse of all the pictures from midnight till now. So in order to do that, I've got all my pictures here. I'm going to remove all the pictures I don't need. R M, and then yesterday's date. And that should delete out all of yesterday's pictures. LS again. And now we see we have fewer pictures. Now we do have to install two things. And you just have to do this once the first time in order to get your tools uh, done. So we're going to do sudo apt-get install libav tools. Let's do that. And I've already installed this, so it's uh, not much is going to happen. Next, I'm going to install mencoder. sudo apt-get install mencoder right here. So you just need to run these commands once. The first time you won't have to do this again. Now, the next step we need to do is we need to take all of our JPEGs and create a file, a text file that lists all the JPEGs. So that is ls star JPEG stills right here. And if we do ls, we see now we now have a file called stills.txt. We need that file because we're going to go we're going to run this command mencoder and it's going to give us all of our files in a time lapse video right here. So we're going to take this command and I'm going to hit enter and it, this is going to take a while because it's going to take each picture one by one and create a time lapse video. 
And at the end, I will have, once it's completed, as it says, I will have a, a video called timelapse.avi. Our time lapse video just completed on our Raspberry Pi Zero W. I'm going to LS. And now you see a little timelapse.avi. Now, how do I get this file onto my computer? Now, how do I, what do I do with this file? Now I'm going to talk about the Dropbox command from the last video. Back out. All right, now I'm going to run the command, the drop loader upload command from the home directory. And I want to upload the time lapse video to my Dropbox. And it says it's done. Let's check it. Let's go over to my Dropbox. And sure enough, there's a time lapse AVI video that just uploaded. Now, what do I do with this? Nothing, because it can't because I'm on a Mac and my Mac cannot open an AVI file and it cannot play an AVI file. Hmm, what do we do now? All right, so I've got a little work around here. What I'm gonna do is go to my YouTube because I love YouTube so much here and I'm gonna upload this video into YouTube. So I'm gonna label this the snow from January 17th, 2018. I'm gonna publish this video and we'll be able to see the video momentarily here. And here is my video of the time-lapse. It's a six second time-lapse of 100 pictures approximately. And you can uh, see the snow falling in Midtown Atlanta. It's actually pointing at the Google office uh, here in Atlanta if you're interested. But that was kind of boring, there's no music. So let's add some music to this video. So we'll do that in Creator Studio here. Go into the Video Manager. And I'm going to edit right here. And there's this little button tab right here. It says Audio. And I'm going to hit Audio. And now I can add music. And it's got a couple of songs. Oh, I like that song. That's great. So we're going to add a little bit of background music right here. So I've selected Water Lily and I'm going to hit Save. And it's going to add Water Lily, the song, as a track to this video. And now, going forward, when I, when I play this video, you're going to hear a little music. Uh, so that is how I create a time-lapse video and watch my time-lapse video and put music to my time-lapse video. Thanks for watching my video on how to create a time-lapse video with a Raspberry Pi Zero W and a standard webcam. Please subscribe.